I wanted to talk about, and I know I'm not talking about isolation transformers, but I'm choosing to talk about something that's more popular and easier to install on a boat and that every single boater should have on their boat unless they have an isolation transformer. And that's called a galvanic isolator. Black and white, everyone needs to have one. Everyone should have one. The reason you don't is because in the past, they used to fail open. Meaning that you would actually lose the AC grounding connection to shore power. That had serious implications for your safety and so very few builders or even owners would choose to actually install one of those. But nowadays, because they are fail safe, they will actually allow you that if ever it does fail, it's actually gonna fail back to a wire. So worst case, you're back to what it was before, which is just a wire. What it does is it's an ability to reduce stray low voltage current on the AC grounding wire. I want you to think about when you're this device is of no use if you're in the middle of the ocean and you're not connected to shore power. So if you never connect to shore power, you don't need this. If you're connected to shore power and you're in a marina and you have the perfect boat, everything about it electrically is done with the utmost care and it is perfection. You could have a boat right beside you that is not good. The electrical is bad. Not intentionally, maybe there's a fault. Your boat, that boat, are all connected via shore power back to the dock. Effectively, every boat in the marina is a cell. Every single one is connected to ground and their ground is connected to water. So they have a choice. If I wanna go back to ground because my neutral is bad or I'm trying, I have uneven balance, Am I going to go through my boat or someone else's boat to go back to shore to even things out? This device will block straight current, DC current, going through an AC grounding connection. It basically effectively isolates your boat to limit straight current corrosion that's happening outside of your boat. That device is around 400 bucks, give or take, and it's not even, I mean, the physical wiring would be half an hour to do, but the question is how do you mount it? So it's really easy to install. And like I said, the reason your boat probably doesn't have one is because they used to fail open. If they fail open, you're going back to the past century. I'm not talking about 20th, I'm talking 19th century for wiring. So that's why they would not install them. And um, you gotta make sure you buy one with either 30 amps or 50 amps, right? The key here is that nothing can bypass the galvanic isolator. Nothing, meaning you need to install it right after the shore receptacle, right? That's the key. If anything bypasses it, right, it's a choke point, right? It's like a gatekeeper. It's like saying, I don't want my kids to leave the house. Well, if you have four doors in your house and you're in the front door saying, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna, nobody's going out tonight and there's three other doors, well, it doesn't matter what you're doing door one, they're just gonna leave go door two, three, and four. So this is a choke point. The only way it works is if it catches everything. If you bypass it, and I see a lot that are badly installed, it defeats the whole purpose. It's not this magically device that actually just needs to sense what's happening. It's, the only way it works is if everything has to go through it on the AC grounding wire, okay? And so, what the install manual is gonna say, and what I recommend as well, is what you do, so they make sure it's not bypassed, is you install it right after the shore power receptacle on your boat. Right there, you, that way nobody's going there. There's no loads at your AC shore power receptacle. If you put it in the panel, people are gonna see a grounding wire, and then people get creative. When they see ground, they're like, oh, this is great. And then they start being MacGyver again, and it's gonna give you a lot of grief, and then you're gonna defeat the whole purpose of having that on your boat. Any questions on galvanic isolators? Question. Uh, does it matter, you were talking about the amps or whatever before protecting shore power, does it matter whether it goes in front or behind it? Yeah. No, the, no, so are you saying, can you repeat your question again? The, the I want to say amp meter. Yeah. For shore power to check to make sure you're actually doing the right amount in. This is going to be way at the end, that's at the panel. 
Yeah, the, the amp meter, the question is where is the amp meter located as a function of the galvanic isolator? The amp meter is, first of all, on the hot conductor, the black one on an AC system. Potentially could be red, but for most part, on most of us it's black. Yes, I know DC negative is black, hence now it's yellow. Be very careful, very careful. One is death, the other one is ground. <clears throat> but the AC meter is going to be on this wire at the panel. The metering always happens at the panel. There's very, very rarely a current transformer or anything to measure volts or amps away on AC other than the panel. Everything happens at the panel. Yeah, question? It does matter. Yeah, it does. It does, yeah. And I could do a whole presentation on galvanic. Like, it's full on. Like, that is PhD. Like, you go into the deep end, it's like neutron stars. Like, whoo, like you want to go full on. Like, it's, like it's crazy. Like, like, that is a world unto itself. The books make for a heavy, heavy reading. You got to be, like, in the zone when you go through galvanic erosion. Like, it's, like it's not an electrical engineer does not do galvanic. Like, it's way beyond that. Like, I'm a little bit, but like, I'm like a little bit. This works. this works. It's an easy way to implement. It's not going to solve all your problems, but for three, four hundred dollars, this is going to solve a lot of them. So it's a low hanging fruit to put on your boat. Any other questions on galvanic isolators? It's going to protect the leak to, leak to ground from your boat. Going out, like you'll still get a leak to ground. If you get a leak to bond, it's still going to go. Yeah, it's still going to go, but it doesn't do the DC. So it stop, AC goes through DC. DC, DC yeah, correct. It does only blocks DC current.